Hello, this is Old School from WhatTheBuck.net, giving you a preview for the New Orleans Saints uh, game this weekend, Raymond James Stadium. The Saints come marching in as I continue to use the same cliche every idiot uses to discuss the Saints, but marching is really a pretty good and apt term considering the Saints bring an undefeated record. Uh, they have run rough shot over the league so far. Uh, and, and the Bucks, well, let's just say they haven't. 9-0 uh, versus 1-8, and eight, it would seem this is a clear-cut ass-whipping that's going to be delivered by the New Orleans Saints. They come in an 11-point favorite. Over-under is 51, so we're looking at a 31-20 prognostication by the bookies. But as a Bucks fan, we have to try and figure out what can be done to beat the New Orleans Saints. They come in, Drew Brees is a stud. You sound like you're a fanboy if you talk about the New Orleans Saints right now because everything on that team looks solid from our perspective. Now, if you're a New Orleans Saints fan, you probably know where all the warts are. Uh, I'm not. I don't get a chance to see them as often as you guys do. But on the surface, Drew Brees is bringing in 104 QB rating, cumulative. I mean, that's that's ludicrous, right? 19 touchdowns, I think that's second in the league. He's got weapons at every skill position. Marcus Colson's a stud. Henderson's got speed. Shockey, when he's not running his mouth or hurt, is an animal, right? So, you know, and that's not even talking about the backfield. The backfield right now with Reggie Bush and Pierre Thomas, and Mike Bell has his injuries, but, I mean, you got three legitimate backs there that can put up yards. The Saints, I think, were 28th in rushing last year. At the end of the year, maybe 24, something like that. And they're fifth right now. So not only are they first in major passing and scoring stats, but their running game works too. You can't just try and make them one-dimensional by sitting back in a, in a cover two shell and making Drew Brees hand the ball off because if you do that, they're just going to run the ball down your throat. So offensively, they are a juggernaut. What used to be the Saints' problem is their defense, specifically their secondary. Their front seven was was hit or miss, right? But uh, they had plenty of talent, but they didn't always show up. But their secondary was always abysmal, with the exception of, of uh, McKenzie. Uh, it's not McKenzie. Oh, hell, Predator guy. Now I can't remember his name. At any rate, he was one of the key uh, off-season departures. Right now, they've gone out and they've got a tremendous squad that they have assembled. I've got a depth chart here somewhere as I fumble around through my notes. They went out and got Jabari Greer, Darren Sharper, Roman Harper's out there playing, Tracy Porter. But the guys they invested in last year that didn't do particularly well, right, uh, Usama Young and, and Randall Gay, uh, these guys are coming on and playing well. I mean, they've got a deep rotation in the secondary. Uh, they went and got Malcolm Jenkins in the draft, who we thought very highly of. These guys are playing really good football. Sharper's like first or second in the league in interceptions. I didn't go double-check that before the video. But this is a defense that not is no longer the Achilles heel of the New Orleans Saints. And that's got to take a guy like Drew Brees and give him some confidence. It's got to give Coach Payton some confidence knowing, hey, you know what, I can be a little bit more daring with what I do because my defense is stepping up and playing very, very good football. When you look at their rankings, uh, their rankings aren't necessarily that impressive. Their total defense is only 21st in the league. But compared to what they used to drag into games, this defense is, is like the Baltimore Ravens from their Super Bowl run. So you give a guy like Drew Brees that kind of comfort or safety blanket, and it's going to be a, it's going to be tough sledding. So for the Bucks side, Josh Freeman continues to impress. I, I have nothing but high high praise for what he's doing. I did not think he would be capable of that based on what I saw in stats and the few times I got to see tape of him coming out. And I know that the K-State fans are still riding my ass. We got an Eric Mangino uh, reference, which was topical and humorous, um, uh, but. But I can't be more impressed. He's a buck, like I said then. He's a buck now. I want him to do well, and he's doing well. Now, tape is starting to get accumulated. We'll see if that has any impact. But he looked damn good against the Dolphins in the fourth quarter, led another comeback that should have stuck if our defense could have done what our defense was supposed to do, which is maintain a lead. Right? You cannot let the Dolphins drive the length of the field in a minute and six seconds. You just can't do it. Uh, and against the Saints, it's going to be the same thing. So I'm going to reverse everything I've said uh, on, the, on the show that I do. Uh, I've been talking about us needing to, to abandon a lot of the man man coverage we're doing, stop taking risks, drop back into a too deep look. Uh, we're one and eight guys. We're gonna be you're gonna see young guys playing for us that you haven't seen before. You're gonna see some of the stalwarts who are starters getting into rotations that they're not used to. I think this team is going into full evaluation mode. I think we'll see more of Dre Moore. I think we'll see more of Kyle Moore. I think we'll see more of the the secondary guys that we do have with regards to depth, whether it's Mickens and Lynch or Roberson. I think you're gonna see these guys. But if I'm the coaching staff right now, we got nothing to lose. I said it on the show last night. It's like the replacements. There is no tomorrow for this team. There's no way to get to the playoffs at this point. You're not getting in with 8-8 eight and eight, even if you're able to somehow put together a string of seven wins, which is highly freaking unlikely. So why not play to win? Don't play not to lose. Bring heat. Bring pressure. If you want to try and pressure Breeze, put your guys on an island. Hey, you want to show me something, Akib? Cover Marcus Colson one up. Right, man up. You, you contain him. Uh... 
that is something that is hard to beat. It's like a poker player who is a skilled poker player playing against a maniac who doesn't know what they're doing. They're harder to beat than another professional poker player because sometimes people can become predictable. So my encouragement would be for us to actually scrap the, the conservative bullshit and play to win. So bring the heat on defense, on offense, take your shots. Our offensive line has got to step up. It was good to hear Aaron Sears was reinstated, for those of you Bucks fans. Uh, there's no way he's going to make any impact this year, but it's good to see he's back. That offensive line without him, though, has got to prove that they're worth the investment we've made because there's some guys that want to get paid. Donald Penn wants to get paid. Jeremy Trueblood probably wants to get paid, but I don't know. He's probably the weakest link right now, in my opinion, on that line. But as a whole, they're not producing. They've got to provide some holes for Cadillac and for Derek Ward. And I am imploring Greg Olson, who I cannot stand, our offensive coordinator, to leverage Ernest Graham. Right? He is not a typical fullback. Use him. Use him in the running game. Use him in the passing game. He will be the joker for you if you let him be. Right? The other one who's been the absentee guy is, is uh, Maurice, or not Maurice Stovall, but uh, Jeremy Stevens. He hit him last week. He's a mismatch for almost anybody on the field. I expect a big week from K2. Uh, the linebackers are probably the, the weak spot that I would try and go after, not that Vilma, Shanley, and, uh, and uh, Old Boy Fujita are weak, but I think that they can be exploited in, the pass defense, or in, the, in their pass defense. Uh, we do get Antonio Bryant back, which will give Freeman another target. I'm expecting a big week by Sammy Strouder because that slot is something that can be cleared up. If we use the tight ends to run through the middle zones, clear the linebackers, give Strouder some space, he can make some things happen. Uh, it's going to be a tough, it's tough, right? The Saints are, are a solid team. They have faded a bit recently. They were destroying people early in the year, and now they're struggling with some teams that they shouldn't be struggling with. Hopefully we can capitalize on that, and hopefully uh, they're looking past us. So there's a quick preview for the Bucks game this week. Uh, we're encouraged in, in Buckland right now by seeing some progress. Progress is always good, and I think in the young quarterback, we're seeing that progress. It's going to prove itself out over the next uh, you know, six games, uh, seven games, including the Saints whether he can maintain that same pace and keep improving. And, and what will happen when he starts getting some of those weapons back, like Antonio Bryant? What will happen if he can start playing as well in the second and third quarter as he's playing in the fourth quarter, right? It, he's got a bit of a lull, like our whole team has, uh, going into and coming out of half. So we're going to have to turn that around. So that's the, that's the deal. Uh, we have a, a wager with, uh, with our Saints friends. Uh, it's going to be a slobber video. I can't remember. Oh, I suck so bad. And the video time is going to go out on me right now. Where is it? It's, it's uh, who that football. Who that football is, is the bet right now. No hat bet for us, but it will be a slobber video. So I'm going to put it on the line. And I'll, God, I almost slobbered on this video, but, but it's going to be on for this week. So tune in, watch the Bucks. Let me know anything about this video. Rate it. And if you want to come see the follow-up show on Monday, come out to whatthebuck.net. Thanks a lot.